How to create and manage menus in a WordPress website. As you can see, in the main navigation we have three pages, about us, contact and gallery, but they are set here by default, because the main navigation displays the pages we have created on the website. What to do if we want to change the order of these pages, for example, to have the contact page as last, and the gallery page to be in the middle. Or what to do if we don't want a page we have created to be displayed in the main navigation. The solution is to create a menu. Within the appearance section, select the menus option and start creating menus. We will create two menus. The first one is related to the main navigation. We will name it main menu. By clicking create menu, the menu will be created. Now, we are adding three pages that we have created. The first will be about us, the second gallery, and the third contact. You can define which page will be the parent or sub page, but we don't need that for now. When we have created posts, categories and products, here we will be able to select them and add them to the menu in the same way as it was for these three pages. There is also a custom link option, where some external link can be defined for the menu item. In the menu settings there are several options, auto add page and display location, but we will not check anything here. In theme customization, we can visually see what exactly it means when you select a certain menu as the primary menu, so we will use theme customization to define menu location. By clicking the save menu, changes that we made will be saved. In order to define this menu in the main navigation, we are going to theme customization by clicking here or here. We will select manage with live preview because this option will redirect us directly to the settings for the menu and not the overview of all customization options that opens by clicking on theme customization. We will select the main menu for the primary menu. As you can see, the main menu that we created a few minutes ago has replaced the default view. By clicking publish we will apply the changes we made. Later, when we add new things that need to be part of the main menu, we will need to go to the menu section and add the new menu item we want and position it the way that we want. The second menu that we will create will be the footer menu, and in that menu we will put the privacy policy and terms and conditions pages that we previously created. We repeat the process, we go to create a new menu. We are defining a menu name. We are adding privacy policy and terms and conditions pages. Then, we save the changes. Within the menu section for the footer menu, select the menu we created. To make the menu visible in the footer section, it is necessary to make settings in the footer builder. In the following videos of the tutorial, we will talk about widgets, and we will fill this space with widgets. To summarize, we created two menus, the main menu in the header and the footer menu in the footer. Later, when we add new content to our website, we will have to add it to the menu if we want it to be available in one of the menus that we created. In the next video, the topic will be plugins. We will show how to search, install and activate them.